So welcome to liquidity ratios. Problem one, we're going to calculate networking capital and current ratio. Um, before start continuing, I want to mention the fact that networking capital, we're going to look at the definitions, is often calculated at this portion of any kind of a course or a typical analysis, but tech Technically speaking, it's not a ratio. Ratios, of course, mean one number divided by another number. So networking capital is not a ratio. It is, so first of all, we have cash, accounts receivable here, accounts payable here, short-term liabilities, and inventory. So all of these are short-term. Now, the networking capital is the current assets minus the current liabilities. Now, remember, current assets means assets that are, uh, that, it will become liquid, our cash, or will become cash within a year. Current liabilities are payables that are due within a year. So the current assets are cash in this overview here, the, or this question, cash, accounts receivable, as we have here, and inventory. So we add them together. That gives us 11,598. Now the current liabilities our accounts payable here and other short-term liabilities. We add them up and that gives us 9,770. So the difference between the two is networking capital. That gives us a number of 1,000, a result of 1,828. You can note that because networking capital is current assets minus the current liabilities, it could have ended up a positive number, zero, a negative number, anything of that sort. So just to keep that in mind. Move on to the current ratio. The current ratio is the current assets divided by the current liabilities. So again, here in this example, current assets, well, in all examples, actually current assets and current liabilities are all positive numbers. So this is a fraction, this is a ratio, it will be positive, a positive number. It may be uh, less than one, if the denominator, so the liabilities are greater than the assets, it may be greater than one if the assets are greater than the liabilities. Now, a bank that's going to finance you is going to be looking to see that your current assets are bigger than your current liabilities. That shows a healthier situation condition with respect to liquidity. But of course, depending on the business that, that uh, you're looking at, the typical current ratio will be different. It may be typically higher, typically lower, so just keep that in mind. Here we're not talking or considering any analysis issues. We're just calculating the numbers. We have the numbers already from last time, but here they are again. The cash accounts receivable and inventory. So that gives us 1158. Count current liabilities. That's a 9,770. We divide one by the other. That gives us 1.19. Well, thank you for your attention, and I hope that helped.